Some Dark Elves take to the seas in search of plunder or revenge, but many more do so to escape the dangers of Nagaroth. Not so Lockyer Felhart. He was born to ply the rolling seas, to bring fire and terror to the shores of other lands. It was his great-great-grandfather, Menrath Felhart, who first commanded the Black Ark, Tower of Blessed Dread, and the doom-bringing flagship has answered to a Felhart ever since. Lokir is the latest of his line to rule over that great vessel of war, and by all accounts the most daring. Following his father's death at an assassin's hand, Lockyer inherited command of both the Black Ark and its mighty fleet. Tales soon returned to Nagaroth of ports set ablaze, fleets scoured from the seas, and whole cities put to the sword. The High Elf port of Tor Canabre, whose dragon ships had long been the terror of Nagarothi Corsairs, fell in a single night once Lockyer Felhart set his intention to it. Bringing snow and lightning with them, Lockyer's warriors descended upon the town and raised it to the ground as a message for the world that the Felhards had returned. Such deeds and many more earned Felhart not only more glory than all of his forebears combined, but also wealth beyond measure. Slaves and treasure flow into Karond Kar as never before, earning Lockyer the grudging respect, if not quite the loyalty of the city's masters. The best plunder he keeps, but there is always plenty more for lavish rewards and bribes. Lockyer is much admired by his Corsairs, not just for his generosity, but also because he fights at the forefront of every battle, a dangerous habit that many Dark Elf Admirals lose as soon as they can. The burdens of command have done little to blunt Felhart's swordplay, and he fights as naturally as he reads the oceanic temper, fainting towards one foe before changing direction mid-thrust to cut down another.
even aware that his crew's loyalty will last only as long as his reputation. Felhart strives to slay enemy heroes and add their severed heads to the growing collection festooned about his command deck. He knows full well that every skull adds another tale to his legend, and more importantly gives mutineers a compelling reason not to cross swords with him. A Game of Reavers Year 2483 of the Imperial Calendar In this year, the Corsair captains Lockyer Felhart and Daston Koldai challenged one another to a contest of plunder. Each chose a province of the Empire, Ostland in Felhart's case and Nordland in Koldai's, and each had one year to claim whatever bounty that they could. Koldai swiftly took the lead, thanks largely to the presence of an Empire fleet, its holds bursting with stolen Nakaran treasures at anchor in Nebnitz when his Corsairs descended. Felhart was not so easily bested, however, and drove his crews mercilessly until there was neither a village nor town in northern Ostland that had not learned to fear his crews. Nonetheless, as year's end approached, Felhart still lagged behind, so he did what any other Dark Elf does in this situation. He cheated. Felhart sent word to King Akatef of Zandri, informing him of the stolen Nehekaran treasures that now lay in Koldai's possession. Akatef's reaction was everything Felhart could have wished for, and soon Cold Eye's Black Ark was pursued, harried, and ultimately sunk by a fleet of Xandrian war dogs. Cold Eye survived that battle. With his vessel gone and his treasure taken by Katef's fleet, he was forced to cede the contest. At the next high noon, he was sacrificed to Mathlan and Loek for Felhart knew full well that his victory could not have been achieved without the consent of the God of the Sea and, of course, the God of Deception. Lockyer Felhart, the Kraken Lord of Karond Kar, 
is loosed upon the world. The latest and most notorious of his line, he plies the coastlines and seaways, plundering ports and settlements for their riches and enslaving their inhabitants. Thank you for watching. On this channel, we're putting together fan-made cinematic episodes featuring historical and fantasy battles based on the settings from the Total War series and, of course, good old World of Warhammer. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the notification button to be the first to watch the next battle.